Hi, this is Nadine Burke, Nadine Tara Burke from Halifax, Nova Scotia. I am sending you this recording to tell you a tiny bit about myself as I'm making my plea. I'm requesting help with trying to get out to Red Deer, Alberta to visit with my grandchildren and my daughter. Um, a bit about me, back in 2015, I was diagnosed with the early stages of thyroid cancer. At that time, I was told that with the early detection as well as with the, the surgeries and the treatments and the scans and whatnot, that I had a 96% cure rate. Well, five and a half years, in, or four and a half years into this, I was recently told that mine is no longer curable. I do not have a 96% cure rate. I fell into the 4% group as I have mets on both of my lungs as well as the muscle that lies behind my windpipe. And my body has been rejecting um, the radioactive iodine ablation. It they had to take stop that because my body is, is not responding to it. And so now they're putting me forward with the, with the chemo, with the chemo pill, in hopes there is no cure, but they're hoping to beat it up a little bit to buy me some more time. So with this happening, you're getting ready to take place. I said, I'm making my plea with uh, Give a Mile. If there's any way you can help me with getting out to Red Deer and back to Halifax, so I can at least visit my ch my grandchildren and my daughter with all of this happening. You're getting ready. To but I do ask for help. I don't know if you can see my, my incision scar, but I said it's, yeah, I've had this done twice. I had a total thyroidectomy. And once again, I said I was recently told that mine is no longer curable. I said I fell into the 4% group with METS now on both of my lungs as well as the muscle behind my, my windpipe. And not only that, my, um, my vocal cords are extremely inflamed. This is why my voice sounds like it is. I can't raise it because they're, they're very inflamed. And so I'm getting ready to undergo something called a barium swallow as well as the neck and chest uh, CT or x-ray, I scanned something to, because twice now when they tried to do the, the, the scope, which goes through your nasal cavity, my uh, vocal cords are so swollen that it's actually hugging. It was squeezing his scope. So he feels, and, I, and I'm having problems swallowing my pills, my medication that I have to have, like my Synthroid and whatnot. It's taken me several attempts at swallowing before I can actually get it down. Um, I'm, I'm a sick girl. <laughs> so if you can, if you give a mile, can, can respond back and help, help this lady out from Halifax, Nova Scotia. Nadine Tara Burke is my name. Would be the greatest thing that I could actually possibly ask for right now. I just want to be able to see, see my grandchildren and my, and my daughter before I begin this, any further treatment. Because uh, once I become sick, as I um, like, do too sick, I, I don't know what's going to happen. Thank you.